The last episode, we played the second leg of the round of 16 against Atletico Madrid in the Champions League. And overall, we won 6-3. We also played the first leg of the quarterfinal. If you saw that episode, you know who we have. We have Kelsey. What a massive game that is. But if you just look at this whole quarterfinal, every single game is amazing. City PSG, Barca Real, Chelsea Spurs, and Liverpool Milan. I don't know what it is, but all them teams just fit together perfectly. But of course, our very next game is the second leg against Chelsea. That will be coming up. We have seven games left in the Premier League and we are on 68 points. Seven points behind Manchester United and 10 points behind Liverpool. The title is gone. We can all say that, but can we fight for that second place spot? We do have Man United coming up in today's episode. Once again, we have a massive episode ahead. Let's say for 380 likes of today's video, subscribe if you're new, turn the bell on and let's get into it. Now, Last episode's player of the episode has to go to nobody else but Stevie Bergwijn. What an episode he had. He scored a hat-trick versus Atletico Madrid. The first goal we're going to look at in this press conference is from Rio, who is suggesting that we change Harry Kane to a target man. We have been experimenting with different attacking runs for Harry Kane. Every time we look to cross the ball, he is not in a good position at all. We've tried target man, getting behind even though he's, he's slow. A false nine would, would really not be good but we just put it on mix but yeah we'll try target man we have done that before and i do feel he is better as one but we haven't permanently made that change we have now and we've got a massive game up next against chelsea to get to the semi-final to test it out with him so we better be good now our episode objective for last episode was to score two goals with bergwine that episode the forfeit if we didn't do that was to play him at gk in this episode thankfully he scored a hat trick as you guys know against Atletico Madrid came on as a sub by the way what what a game that was and of course we need an objective for today's episode and I said in the press conference of last adjust your suggestions a little bit make them a little bit more achievable and you and you've done that you have there's so many good suggestions in fact there's two main comments which I don't know which one to go with so we will spin a wheel the first one is with Josh FC who is saying Score a goal with Romero, the center back. If he doesn't do that, play him at striker. I'm guessing the first game next episode. And the second one is from Peter, who is saying keep a clean sheet against Chelsea. Forfeit, can't play Son in the next two games after that. Great. Uh, that's that's fantastic, isn't it? He says the next two games after that, but the forfeit is always at the start of next episode, which is big because we could find ourselves in a position where we can't play him in the second leg of the semi-final if we get there or it impacts our position in the league or even maybe the Champions League final. Depends how many games we get through in today's episode. And as I said, we'll be spinning a wheel because I cannot decide which one to go for. Is it going to be Peter or is it going to be Josh FC? Whose forfeit are we doing? It's Peter's. Which probably is the worst one. We have to keep a clean sheet versus Chelsea. Our son is playing in goal for not one game, but two matches. <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, and also to add, halfway through the episode, I will be switching microphones. I've bought two new mics, this one and this one. Both very, very good. And I want to see which one you guys think is better. I'm currently using this one. So halfway through, we'll be switching over to this. And at the end of the episode, go down to the comments and let me know which one you think sounds better. Oh, we are slightly tired against Chelsea here. Burn is tired for them. Do we have to rotate anyone? That is the question. Do we start Bergwijn? He's in four. But Neto's now 82 rated. His full fit. It's got a boost rating of three. He has to be starting, surely. Kamavinga, probably, I'm going to say it, our most important player right now or our most consistent player right now. He's been class since we signed him. Incredible. But Chelsea, five at the back, three in midfield, two up front, Lukaku and Werner. It's, it's going to be a good side. We need to keep a clean sheet, remember? To be fair, we did extremely well to get a 1-0 win and a clean sheet at the bridge. Here comes Dybala. We always go for the ball over the top to Son. Across to Harry Kane. No, every time we go and sweat it. We, what, why do we sweat it in the first place? Why are we sweating it? I, I could have hit that. Volley. I could have hit it. Neto, he's found Kane. A little flick to Dybala. Good opportunity. On his right foot, Dybala. Oh, get in. A body missed it. It's 2-0 Spurs. 
eight minutes in. Come on. Harry Kane flex it to Dybala. I thought he missed it. My first reaction was, how's he missed it? Post him in. Beautiful. What a finish. Keeper's not saving that. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. You have to leave a like for that. Because Timo Werner, Emerson, you need to be there, dude. You need to be there. Oh, it's a relief. I thought clean sheet was gone there. It should have been gone, but I don't know. What's going on with the game at the moment, guys? Everyone's missing sitters. Absolute sitters. Here's Timo Werner coming forward for Chelsea. Oh, he's got the pace, of course. He's whipping it in. Havert. There's the goal. There's the goal. Son, get ready to be in goal, dude. Timo Werner did really, really well. Whips it in. And every time we play Chelsea, I swear this this dude scores against us. What is it with Havertz? It's a world-class touch. And that's a finish and a half. To be fair, guys, we have failed the objective literally the, like 20 minutes in the first game. So I'm just going to go straight to Josh's now. We're going to do both of them. We're going to do both of them. Why not? Romero, you need to score a goal. I tell you what, Chelsea seem good coming forward. Defensively, we need to be good here. We need to be strong, organize, and make sure that line is perfect. That's a ball played over the top to Son. Every time they come forward, they seem to be dangerous. Finding passes. Here's Havertz. That front three of Lukaku, Werner, and Havertz is scary. I don't know how they're not higher in the league, to be fair. Looking to cross it. Son's in the box. We do cross it. Son! Overhead kick! Soon as he crossed it, I knew what he was going to do. That was dreadful. That was awful. That was a great opportunity. There is Romero coming forward. Skipping onto that right. Yeah, you can tell it's a centre-back. You can tell it's a centre-back. Romero take one for range. Straight at Mendy. We need to actually make sure we win this here. Can't just be messing around with centre-backs. I'll tell you that. Dybala, Romero. Oh, that was that was dangerous. Kane, get that out wide to Reykjolomp. We're approaching. End of the half. Son on the volley. Oh, what a goal. Three one top them before the break. Come on. What a volley. Regular on out wide. Flicked it to Son on his left. Boom. He may not have scored the overhead kick, but that was class on the volley. Not easy. It's weaker, but keeper should have saved it. Great. Well, he didn't. He didn't. It's It's gone in. It's 3-1. Surely we're in the semi-final here. Oh, that's a bad throw from the keeper. Harry Kane to hit one. Boom, what a goal. Error from the keeper. Top them in a semi-final. First time since 2019. That is beautiful. Come straight to him. Oh, that's a goal. That is a goal. Error from the keeper. Hit it before he gets back. Oh, that's lovely. I mean, Aspila Quetta, what? Do you go back in the video and watch what he just did there? I have a uh, Timo Werner out wide. If they score here, it, like, you know, it's not officially over. Akaku. Oh, no. Oh, no. You're kidding me. It's 4 2. There was always a goal coming from that. It was that type of counter attack. Just couldn't get close to them. The more they passed it, the more disorganized we became. Oh, look at Havertz right there. What is that? What nope. is that? What a save, Navas. If they. This game's not over. This game is not over. It should be over, but it's not. They're making a change. They're, oh, I'm so thankful they're taking off Werner right there. I feel he has been their most threatening player. Dangerous from the corner. Dybala, Pedro, make the run. Make the run. Harry Kane, play it through the gap. That should have been a goal. We should have been through and goal with someone there. Harry Kane. Oh, that's beautiful. That is a beautiful bit of play. Rudiger's coming back. Try and look for Son. Here's Son on his left. Gonna hit one. There's the goal. Game over. Game over. Got 18 minutes to play. It's 5 to an accurate. Spurs are in a semi final. Managed to get it onto Son. Couldn't have gone all the way there with Neto. And that's a finish. That is a finish on his left. Okay, for the final closing moments of the game, we're gonna bring on Tanganga and put Ramiro up. Because we somehow need to get this goal. We can't fail two objectives in one episode. And there we go. That's the end of the game. We the nothing with Romero. But we're in a semi-final of the Champions League. Come on, Spurs. We have Arsenal up next in the Premier League. They're 10th. They're not having a good season at all. We have some big games coming up. So you're going to be surprised about this. We're going to sim this against Arsenal right here. And after the game, we'll figure out who we have in the semi-final of the Champions League. But here we go. We're away from home at the Emirates. It's, it's a draw. It's a 1-1. Draw. We'll take that over a loss, but I mean, can we get second? I think second's gone at this point as well. Oh, to be fair, I mean, 
Man City are two points behind us. They're creeping up. They're creeping up behind. I'm pretty sure we have them at some point in the end of the season. But the teams who go through in the Champions League are Paris. They knock out City, which gives them an advantage in the league, to be fair. Madrid knock out Barca. We knock out Chelsea. And Liverpool knock out Milan. The team we have in the semi-final of the UCL is Liverpool. There we go. England versus England. Spain versus France. If we get past this in two legs, we'll likely be playing Real or Paris Saint-Germain in the final. This is massive. And now we can actually check the calendar. Yeah, we do. Second to last game of the season, Manchester City in the league. That will probably be for fourth or third spot. I really did think that next episode would possibly be the last episode of this career mode, but it looks like we have two more after this left. We're gonna have to play both the semi-final games against Liverpool next episode. We have Manchester United now in the league. They are second. We're third. If we win this, to be fair, it really doesn't mean that much. <laughs> We're just battling for third place at this point. Right, here we go. We have officially now switched over to this microphone. But of course, we're fighting for our third spot right now. We can't really get close to Man United, but we also want to make a statement. Oh, here come United. Bruno Fernandes. It's Cristiano Ronaldo out wide. A good bit of play. That's a goal. Surely that's a goal. He's really messed that up. Really messed that up. Here's Dybala coming forward. He's got that left foot. Gonna find Kane through the gap. Surely it's 1-0. Kane onto the left. Kane gonna hit it. Straight at De Gea. Bergwijn make a run. Here he is. Pull that back. Son back post. Gonna look for him. Son take, took it down. Dybala on his left. Harry Kane. Oh, my, I've passed it. I meant to shoot and I've passed the ball. You're kidding me. Here's Benton Carr. Dybala. Kane. Get in! It's onside! Harry Kane makes it 1-0. Three times I attempted to pass it to Dybala there, and it just did not happen. I wanted to try and bend it with that left foot, but it went to Kane, and there we go. 1-0. What a finish. Oh, opportunity for United to get back in it. It's onside as well. Jaden Sancho. That's poor, that is. That's, that's really, really bad. Messi at the back. Yeah, this is not good. Near post as well. Don't forget, we need to try and score with Romero. We do have a Brentford or someone we will be playing in the league coming up after. So we'll just change the tactic and tell them to play as a striker, but as a defender. That's a ball out to Emerson. He's taken that down well. Kane's in the box. Callum Finger with the header. Oh, what a save there. It's offside, but what a save that was. Oh yeah, he's most definitely offside. Here's Oscar on the right-hand side. Looks to cross it in. That's a goal, surely. No, tackle. Bruno, don't get it back to Ronaldo. Oh, and away. Cross whipped in. Big header. Oh, what a save, Navas. What a save right there. We're going to make a sub. We're going to bring on Neto. We're going to bring on Neto and Harry Winks. Why not? It's now Eddie raided. Kamavinga's been one of the better players in this game, but we need to be saving him now, keeping him fit for that semi-final. Cristiano Ronaldo. I thought he would be scoring that then. Pogba. That's a goal. Sancho. 2-1. They're good. United are good. They're second. We're third. They're better than us. Sancho's class is probably like 92 rated now. 91 is Dybala. Can we get a point? That's the thing. Can we beat City? Dybala. There's gaps. Left foot. Hit one. Boom. What a goal. Dybala makes it to all. We can possibly still fight for this win. But surely we've got a point now. He has hit that sweeter than anything. Boom. On his left. That's beautiful. That is hit perfectly. Two all Spurs. The last chance to try and really go for this now. Goal kick to Kane. Header, Son. This is great. This is great. Here's Son out wide. Looking for the Dybala. Why have I passed it? My decision making at the moment is it's just been a little, little off. I wouldn't be making some of these plays which I've been making. And we've gone and lost it. We've just gone and lost it. Because I've got I've gone and passed it. We could have got a draw there. We could have got a point. If that is Richarlison. Oh, it is. Get out. Get out. You're kidding me. How things can change, eh? How things can change. Just like that. Three minutes. Three minutes. We're in the third. Now Kane. Okay. Son. Out wide. Onto his right. Son. I'm just hitting it. Son. Blocked. Kane. Dybala, come on, boom, come on, there's the point, you wouldn't believe it, you would not believe it, what a match this has been, crazy stuff there, near post, oh the finish, Dybala, 
Beautiful. That is class. That is pure class, that is. Wow. Just wow. Referee blows the whistle. It's a point. What a game. We now are nine points behind. Oh, no. We are, but Man City go above us. I see how it is. I see how it is. We've, we've both won 21, drawn seven, lost five. Got Bournemouth up next. I thought we had Brentford, but as I said, he will be playing this game. We'll get Gil at Cam instead of Dybala. Sessing Young on the left. Why not? Lamptey on the right. Just get rotating. Ramiro, play as striker. He needs to score. Get Neto playing. Uh, oh, no. David, no. Uh, Winks, there we go. I wanted to rotate, but we can't be rotating that much. We needed a backup striker when we came to Spurs. But the awkward thing is... They're never going to play because it's Harry Kane. When are we really going to rotate Harry Kane? It's just not happening, is it? Here's Winks. A nice ball out wide to Sessignon. Got Kane in a good position. Here he is looking for that right foot. Harry Kane, good good opportunity. Oh, these teams are so easy to score against. That's a finish and a half, by the way. We played more of these games. You know, we'd probably believe we're a lot better than we are. Look at that. Oh, boom. What a finish. Gil out wide to Son. Now Harry Kane. I'm still yet to know if he's right-footed or left-footed. Looking for Pedro. It, it, yeah, he's offside. He's onside? He's onside! There's no way he's onside. How's the keeper let that in anyway? I do not understand that one bit. How is that onside? How's that gone in? On his left, hits it. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was a good shot. Again, keeper. What's he doing? It's Sessignon attacking. So many of you guys have suggested his... He's a left winger. Convert him to it. We're going to play that to Son. Oh, that's beautiful. Should be three. Son on his uh, on his right. There we go. There's the third. Just before halftime. Beautiful finish. Kane's taking it down. Just before the break. Another opportunity. Smash that in the box. Oh, how's he missed that? How's he missed that? Anyway, going into the second half, we need to try and get a goal with Romero. As we've got to do that silly, silly forfeit. Can he play as a CDM? We'll, we'll just, we'll play him here and we'll tell him to get forward. Yeah, we'll tell him to do that and we will bring on Tang Yanga. We'll, we'll try that. Come on, Romero. Come on, Romero. Come on. Come on, Romero. Oh, he saved it. You're kidding me. All right, where is he? There he is. There he is. Come on, please get back post. Please, Romero. Please, no. Why has Kane done that? Oh, you're kidding me. John. Oh, I don't believe it. Why on earth am I accepting stupid objectives like that? I should have just ended the episode because it meant we would have to play. Uh, maybe that isn't the very next game. Please say it isn't. Yeah, it is. That is ridiculous. That is. That is terrible. So, very next game is against Liverpool. We'll have to play Son in goal and Romero up front. Can you guys allow me to do it for like 45 minutes or something? because I, I really want to win the Champions League here. I don't want to be throwing this away. We may have to just park the bus or something and just, uh, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Leave your suggestions down below. Who won player of the episode? Also, let me know that and episode objectives for next episode. Be nice. Be kind, okay? Because they'll probably go over to the Champions League final next episode. Doing the outro on the upper mic now. If you guys have enjoyed it, leave it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And the top left of the screen should be a video that you two recommend you watch. Thanks for watching guys.